What is up, guys? Uh, it, it's kind of delayed by almost a month, but I just wanted to just do a quick recap with whatever footage I did have or what I did get for of uh, the Fishing Paddle 2023 of me fishing that tournament. Um, I'll just tell you right off the bat, uh, it was it was a challenging tournament for me this year. Uh, I didn't really get to pre-fish because the conditions were so windy. Um, I felt like I was going to just drain myself out, uh, just trying to fight the wind. I think it was at one point, even like 20 some, some odd mile per hour winds. Um, there was even a, a limitation on what waters we could fish this year because of, uh, safety concerns. So the tournament director did kind of limit us to stay inside of the inlet. But all in all, I didn't get to pre-fish. I wasn't prepared. Um, we got out there on Saturday. Uh, and started off okay, but man, just as soon as the tide turned to an outgoing tide, um, the wind was coming from the south, the water's going out, uh, towards the south. And obviously, as many of us know that that fish quite a bit opposite wind and current is just going to create a lot of chop. And, uh, you guys will see it in the video. It's just, the water was messy. It was a lot of labor, a lot of work just to try to hold uh, certain grounds and I just felt like I was kind of all over the place this year uh, when it came down to trying to fish the water um, but I'll go ahead and just go through the results real quick at least for me um, first day it was, it was tough 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 day uh, I broke off six early didn't get in any more bites the rest of the day I was bait was not available as like it was all the years past I had to really, really search uh, for these bait. And finally, someone actually gave me a tidbit of where they were catching. And finally, I was able to go and, and, and catch uh, some bait to, to fish later in the day. But pretty much, I would say, at least half the day was spent um, chasing bait. Uh, and a lot of people that were fishing paddle tail, the water was a little murky, a little kind of more cloudy. Um, I don't know if people are catching really on the, 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 the lures and artificials, but what I did notice is that a lot of them were using like much bigger jig heads. Um, I only had three quarters. I think one ounce was the heaviest I had. I was not able to get down into um, the, the hot zone, uh, really. So, so even, even lures were not working for me. So, um, it, yeah, it, it just, it, it was just all, all together. Like I was not prepared, um, especially with the conditions. It's just like, it was, it was not working for me. <laughs> um, I mean, just even really going further, I probably caught a little bit of everything. Uh, I caught, you know, old t-shirts. I caught calico crabs. I caught a horseshoe crab. I mean, you name it, a whole bunch of little tiny black sea bass. Uh, but it's just like I caught everything that you could possibly catch <laughs> probably in, in that in that uh, in, in the sound there but but definitely I could I, I could not get anything on my boat uh, let alone get it off the pilings so I didn't even get to see a single fish really because every every fish I hooked into would just run across the pilings and just break me off almost instantly so um, but but yeah uh, managed a, a single fish the first day got on the board and really second day was just me trying to claw back and, and trying to get something uh on the board just to limit out and fill out the three fish bag so that's pretty much the story and I, I was able to manage uh to get a couple good follow-up fish on the second day uh and i managed not to get on the the podium but I did manage to at least get into fourth place. Uh, and uh, I was honestly content with that. Um, and I was just very satisfied. I mean, I was, I was very close to even getting into the top three. But, um, but yeah, I mean, if you, if you look at the fishandpaddle.com, I mean, you'll see that there were some monster sheep that being caught. He got second. Monster rockfish or big rockfish. Uh, obviously, new rules this year with the slot. Four stripers, very small window to catch, but he he got the top of the limit, uh, top of the a slot limit, and and it was heavy. So, um, 
kudos to him. Um, he got first, and uh, yeah, it's just I just couldn't get the the kicker fish. Um, that that's just what it came down to. So, but no regrets, no complaints. Uh, it was another fun tournament. Uh, just exciting just to be out there with with uh, with fellow kayak fishermen. It's just always fun, uh, always a good time, uh, and definitely um, going to be out there again next year. So if you guys weren't there, uh, I know that I'm talking about these terrible conditions, but um, if you guys perk up to it and are, are looking for a good time, not easy, but a, a, a very a, a good experience, I guess, um, definitely look at the fishing paddle next year. I believe it's going to be the second to last weekend of June. Enough talking. I'm just going to just jump into the video, uh, and we'll just roll through this and, uh, let it play out. So hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. I mean, I caught probably like, I lost count of a little, little tiny black sea bass, nothing else. And I lost my net. I don't know how, like it was in front of me the whole time. Okay, he's on the board!
Oh my god! Fishing paddle, saltwater slam. Lines are officially out of the water a few minutes ago. Anglers have another hour to get the scales. Biggest one of the day so far, seven pounds. Big blue coming to the scale here. Look at that thing.